Hello, welcome back, I guess. Uh, to something I've been trying to get done for a while. Uh, Recursed is a puzzle game that I let's played about three years ago, just about to the day. Uh, and it was super neat. There was a user-made expansion for it called The Ice Palace that came out a while ago. Many people recommended it to me. I've been trying to play it, but my progress data for this game somehow got erased. I checked my old computer and it was gone there too. I don't know what happened to it. And the Ice Palace requires the game ending to have been seen before it unlocks. However, a little bit of Lua hacking later, which is a lot easier than like playing through this whole game again, which would have been fun, but I just don't really have the time. Uh, I think I've managed to force the door open so I can go to the Ice Palace. Here, a new thing. All right, um, right, so I haven't touched this game in a real long time. <laughs> this is gonna be a bit of a trial by fire as I recall the mechanics. Um, but that should be okay, I hope. I've also heard this expansion's very hard, so it should be okay, I hope. We'll see what happens. Easy mode. All right, so what do I remember? This is Ublak here. I can pick up objects like this. And apparently Ublak takes the form of the thing I picked up. I can throw. I can toss up a little bit. And I want to touch that crystal to get out of the level. All right. I can jump down from a thing, right? Yes. Can I throw it down and get a little boost? No. Felt like I remembered something about that. Uh, anyway, right. So, green means persistence. I can jump in here and it takes me back to the same room. So, is this not as simple as... I took that too far down, but... Um, oh, right, and I can't jump as high while holding an object. So I think I've ruined this already. Uh, by taking that down too far. Yeah, I see those little icicles there. That's neat. Alright, so remind me of the rules of this. By jumping in here, that room resets. By jumping back out, everything stays. Um, that's persistent though, so now I have moved the chest downward. I can go a layer deeper. My thing still changed. Now, hold on, what's wrong with uh, this? Also, what's that green thing there? So I can't touch that because I'm too low. Green thing is jar, that's right. Okay, so I have a jar now. I don't remember how jars work, but I think they store the state of the... Yeah, okay, so a jar... Oh, hey, yeah, I have no uh, purple exit here. So I have a jar. I have to jump into it to get back out a lair. I can bring this block with me and have a platform for getting up here. Okay, I did a level. I still... <sighs> jars were complicated. I forget exactly how they work. I'll figure it out, though. Um, paradoxes. I remember that those exist. They require, at the very least, a green chest, which this did have. But I have to be able to exit a room with that chest no longer in the room I would be exiting to. And because this is a single room, this is unparadoxable, right? Maybe. Uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing paradoxes as we go on here. Um, they like second exits, third exits. Um, why were there third exits? I wish I still had my save data for this game. Uh, I could do an LP of just like replaying it, but well, I don't know. Maybe that would be cool. But that's not what I've chosen to do. Manhole. Let's see how this goes. All right, key, right. That's a mechanic. Use them to open doors. They go ding. And right, holding an object, can't jump that high. All right. So, where a chest go? Another place with key, underwater. All right, so when a chest is underwater, the room inside will be flooded. I remember that much. Room is flooded, therefore I can reach the block. Or not, I can't jump that high. Ah, so you're telling me I also can't jump this high. Okay. So this is the puzzle. And if I can't escape that either... Alright, so let's take 
What can I take, though? I can take this chest out. Manufacture another one of it if I want, or bring this along, and this will not help me, because inside this chest is a locked door. So instead, what I wanted... Well... No, hold on. No, I think this is still fine. So if I take you, bring key along... Yeah, it destroys my opportunity to get at uh, that door. However, I think I have another copy of that key in here. If I were to set this da da down where I can tell where it is. So yeah, with no directional input... Oh, problem is I can't get back to that key from here. So... Um, this has a locked door in it. All right, but this, well, no. If I do this, then I, I don't get the key. Taking this action right here doesn't help me, right? Where's this chest go again? Recurse! Yeah, I remember what it feels like to play this. It's pretty cool. I've gotten myself stuck, kinda. Well, I could make more layers, but this won't help me, will it? All right, so here I've recreated the situation I already had. So I can flood these chests. Let's see what happens when I do that. First of all, this. Ooh, that floats up. So basically just I get no access to that chest if this one is flooded. So nothing is helped by that as far as I can tell. However, I do have access to this key, which means I can reproduce the key. But what else it means is that I can extract this chest and take it back out to probably a dry area. Except I can't because of where I positioned this chest. So no dry area is accessible from here. Okay, but if I go back in here, everything resets. The key remains. Taking this chest into this other chest. Doesn't help because there's no dry land here. So I need one chest wet, the other one dry. Alright, so once again, mental map of the space. It seems to me like there's nothing to this room. It's just to give me a key and come in here, right? Or perhaps that's actually the most important room for some reason. So I spend this key. And I get just this chest. I'll take it out here, because it doesn't really make much of a difference. There's no reason to do this. There's nothing for me here unless I import another key, which I can... Can I? Okay, no, no, no. The point of this is that I can pick up this chest and bring it in here. Okay, so. So far, so good. Um, I spot something. I spot a dry ledge up there. Okay. So dry ledge up there means... By taking this chest... I want a flooded copy of the room that I'm in now. So I think I did actually take all the right actions. I think it was solvable from where I had been. This is the wrong place. I don't want to be here. All right, so that chest is no longer useful to me, right? Um, but if I go into this one, now I have a flooded copy of this. Right, wasn't the whole point just to get a dry copy of this chest? So I'm done if I just take this here and enter it on this ledge I didn't spot the first time through, maybe? Not exactly. Okay, but it's a start. Alright, so I'm going to need two blocks out of here and back in... Okay, so I need... So yeah, from here I can jump that. With the block, I cannot. This room needs to be inside itself. Uh, or does it need to be wet? No, because if it's wet... Remind me what happens. Oh. <laughs> um, 
wet this room has. Well, basically, I want this in a place where I can control whether it's wet or dry. I can take this out of here and it's fine. I lose nothing. In fact, I gain something. This is not a place where I have control over wetness or dryness. Neither is this. Where can I get a key? In here, maybe? Yes, okay. So I can get all the keys I want in here, all the copies of that room that I want in here. So I th think... So I'll take this key, sure. Remind me what that innermost room looked like when it was wet. A key doesn't help me. A block... How do I ever get that block out of there? Well, so I need a copy of that chest. Okay, got one. Uh, sure. So if I bring this into itself, that allows me to do nothing because it's wet. Okay, so I need this in a wet circumstance. Problem is what I need to bring in here is a key. Yeah, that does seem like a problem. No, there's a key right there. What do I need to bring a key for? All right, so wet version of this. I think I'm on the track of something good. So I have two of these in the same room. I could bring them into each other. Let's try that. If this goes wrong, I've lost this chest, but I think that's okay at this point. So yeah, oh, ah, I, I wanted to put down, not uh, do that. I can't bring two copies, only one object comes with me at a time. So I need a second one of these blocks. There is one in the room, but I can't get there. So like, I think this is wet and dry shenanigans. What if I brought this block? Well, how would I do that? I can't bring this block anywhere. Oh, shoot, and now I am stuck here. All right, fine. So, <laughs> so what am I trying to do? That's the first question. It's hard to tell. I don't have an actual route to doing useful work yet. I'll get one, though. Now, why did I do that? This brings that chest here. I bring this all the way in here. All right, so this is my start. This key's for that door to get a second copy of this chest inside the room that it goes to, right? So, like, this room is what this chest goes to, right? Right. Oops. Okay. Man, this game's cool. I'd forgotten how this all was. So. I have no reason to make this room wet. I have no nothing else to ever do with this room, I think. Unless I need an additional copy of that chest, which would allow me to have... Hold on. Um, I already have that chest in this room. Uh, could I get a second one? I don't think I need to. To get a key in here... Oh, hold on, I have the wrong chest in here. I do need a second one. How did I do what I did? Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm not sure anymore. Hmm. By wetting things. This thing specifically. So I make this wet. I can dry it off up here. Okay, sure. Grab key, get second copy of that chest. Why, though? Well, given that this is the outermost... Okay, so I copied the key. In here is what again? So that's the end room. My goal, I believe, is to enter this room wet while carrying a block. To get the block, I must enter this room dry. So I need this chest in a place where it can be wet or dry. 
But it's more complicated than that. What, I have that already, but that's not sufficient. Because when I enter this dry, yeah, there's a block there, but I can't get it out. So I need to bring... I think I know what I need. I need to bring the chest containing that room that I just left into the chest that I'm holding, right? And I need to do it in the... What circumstance? So I'm here in the wet. This can only be wet. That gets me a key and the room, the containing room again, which is fine. Yes, this is... Uh, is this helpful? I think so. Not quo, oh, maybe. Hold on. If this goes here, then I still can't get the block out. But what if I have another copy of it? Maybe then we can go somewhere. I can go back to itself, but it'll be dry, so that's no good. I'm holding this room. It's too dry. Isn't this what I... No, I still have a problem. I don't know how to get the block out. I, can, I only know how to get the block deeper. So if the block can only go deeper, I assume there's no, like, swimming trick here where I can actually swim higher. So the block must go inward from here and end up in a wet version of this room. But to get the block, this room must be dry. Therefore, what I need to take is a chest containing this room into this chest. Okay, uh, so go out one. So if that's a chest containing this room, I go in here while it's... Uh, no, maybe, wait. So what I said was correct, but the problem is that it's too wet here. So take this farther out. So this is itself, right? Yes. So let's go out one more. I f oh, okay, so I need to do the same thing, but one layer deeper, which I can still do. This is not lost at this point, I think. Uh, that's the wrong chest. So these are both the same chest, right? Yes, okay. Wait, I think I did lose something. Yeah, I lost the chest containing the room I'm in now, okay. So do the same thing, but go an extra layer deeper because I need to be able to pop out another layer for some reason. I can't keep the full map of this estate graph in my head. It's complicated. So when I do this activity, all right, so hang on, who are you? One more time. You have a chest in you, which is helpful to me. I do need to get this in the dry because in the wet, that chest floats up. But, do I have a way to repeat this? I think so. No, not when this is wet. So I have to go in here, dry it out up here. But no, you need to, no, you don't need to be wet. This is the one with, with that. All right, so the state change I made is that at this layer, this room is now wet. I cannot get a key from there. Can I get a key from here? Kind of. All right, so here's a key factory. With this key, I want obviously to take this. Okay, now do I have all the ingredients? I'm gonna go out here. I don't think I need a key. All right, so one more time. What am I trying to do? Shoot, I don't know anymore. <laughs> uh, 
I need to extract that box, but I cannot extract it. What I have to do instead is go deeper with it into what chest? This one? No. This one? Maybe, but then that's dry. So if I can only bring one thing in... I haven't helped my situation at all, have I? Alright, so if I were to take that down there... I could end up in this room where I could get another copy of that same room and have it wet. Oh yeah, 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 I think I'm here. Okay, so all I have to do is take this down, bring the box into it. It, it, it. This room contains the chest containing the room that I just left. I now have a block and a key to get that, and it's wet, and then everything is as it must be. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. That's the solve. Oh, this is cool. Kind of complicated. But that's part of the fun. Nothing green was here. No paradox is possible. Cliff! Something green is here, but it's not something I can jump into. Alright, so that's there. Got a permanent block and an impermanent key. Although it is permanent because it's on the top layer, unless I can get back to that. I believe that little ledge is too high for a jump with a key. That block also cannot be reached from here. Is there any water? I see none. So there's this key, there's this block that's permanent. Okay. Um, here's a thing. There is no recursion going on here. This is a non-recursive recursed level. I just have this one room I can come into. The obvious problem here is if I take this block down to retrieve the key... Um, then the block is down, and it's not going to return up here. It remains permanently in there. Well, sure, but there's another key I can get. And if I'm doing things in that order, I must take the block first. That cliff is, like, real high. If I have only one, the one key here... I don't see how this is going to help me. Oh, I also locked up my green block. Uh, so what's with that key way down in the pit is what I'm... Oh, I think I maybe kind of get it. Okay, so no, no, no. Green thing first. Be careful where you lock that up. Got it. I understand the implications. So I open this. I fell into exactly the trap that was laid out for me. The trap was to exit in this state. I want to exit in this state. Check it out. If I have a way to get that key out, and it is permanent, then I can manufacture as many of these blocks as I want. Done. Here, you. Be more convenient. So with that block there, I get the key out, and no! False! I don't have access to that block because it's too high. Okay, so... Alright. I think I have another idea. I can make more keys. Alright, uh, green first. Okay, you. Be more convenient. Green here. Top level key comes out. How many blocks do I need? Let's count. I can jump... A three tall thingy? Yeah, so... If I'm within three blocks of... Careful. Of, uh... Where I'm going, then that's fine. By doing this... Hold on, no, no, no. I need to count something. So that's one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven high, so I need four of these blocks out here. Alright, I'm gonna take this back in here. So this will be my platform for getting that key out. Uh, 
Yes, and I need to... Oh, the problem is I don't have a repeatable pattern here. I get that key out, but I need... I lose my block in there now. I did not manufacture a new key. Yeah, that's no good. I can have one or the other. By taking the block, I keep my greenie. By using the greenie to take a key, I lose everything. Ding. All right, so let's uh, let's go over all of this again. Green block allows me to take non-green block out of here if I have brought a key in or taken that key down there. Taking that key down there with this green block implies losing it, which I don't want to do, which I just did. Is there a point at which I can do that and be okay with the state of the puzzle? The point at which that could happen would be if I had four keys accessible to me. The way I would get four keys accessible to me... No, false, false. Four keys and four blocks, and if I had that, the puzzle would already be solved. Okay. To get that block there, to get either of these objects, green block must be here. Getting the top one lets me keep using the green block or re relocate it. But I can only really get that once because I have just the one key at the top level. I need to duplicate these keys down here without losing my green block. That's what I don't know how to do yet. There aren't a whole lot of elements here. Well, here's a thing I can do. Okay, this dance acquires me a key up here, but that doesn't help. If I put this right where the door is, I don't suppose it can, like, hold the door. I really doubt that. I'm gonna put it, like, halfway in so that it can maybe hold the door, and if it doesn't manage to hold it, then I can probably pick it up again. So I've just recreated the initial state of the puzzle. And my green block disappeared. Whoa, it got erased. What? That's what happens when I put something in a door? Oh. That's not what I want. Okay. So it feels like I'm missing an action, but the actions that are available are pretty limited. It seems obvious to me that my first set of actions is exactly this. But after this point... If my first set of actions are that, the only sensible follow-up is this. This block can't impart its permanence onto another block or anything. So I could leave with a block or I could leave with a key. If I leave with a key, I recreate the initial state of the puzzle. Therefore, assuming this puzzle is solvable, the answer must be, somehow, to leave with this block. But I don't think that gets me anywhere. Is there something magical about the permanence of this green block? Like, will it start floating here if I... If I what? Like, if I stack it on top of a... No, I mean, like, physics apply as soon as I... As soon as I do stuff. So I'll lose this block in this process. Oops. Yeah, green's just, just down on the ground now. Okay. I don't know what to do here. Is there some trickery like... Um, no, there's no trickery with that. So 
So if something's in the air, I can't ever catch it again, right? False. I can catch things in the air. This is a juggling act, isn't it? Somehow it's a juggling act. I'm fairly convinced. Okay. Yeah, okay, so start with the block here. How would I ever juggle? Can I jump up through this? Yes, okay, can I just... Mm, I don't think I throw that high enough. Oh, that's it. That's totally it, isn't it? So that would mean... Like, I basically saw all the steps of this work. It's just gonna be a matter of execution. Doing this four times. Uh, so theory is, I can just leave the green block there, juggle my way to a key here by doing... that. Right? Just gotta find the perfect time to throw it. Let's see, so I, I presume my feet have to be on the ground to catch an object. False. Wait. There's definitely juggling involved, so what is the... what determines when I can catch something? I caught that in the air once. I definitely did that. Right? Did I imagine it? How did that ever happen, though? Can I jump and then pick up? It really feels like this kind of has to be it, because, like, I've exhausted all the other possibilities. I... it kind of happened. This is silly. So I think I see what the difference is. If I jump while I'm holding the key, it decides I'm doing a low jump, and therefore it's legal to pick it up again. If I jump while I'm not holding it, I'm doing a high jump, and it's illegal to pick it up, because that would allow this to happen. So I think the game is saying no to this, but like, if I jump first and then throw up, then I can keep repicking. In the other order, I can never repick. So I guess that's not it. Hmm. Okay, I think I spotted the thing I haven't tried yet. It's actually way simpler than anything I was doing, which makes a lot of sense. Like it would have to be, wouldn't it? So initial steps remain the same. I get a block out. Then I enter without that block. So block comes out, green comes with me. Just sit there. Like this has to be the initial state. This goes down here, and now this is a key factory. And I have a block out there that I can take when I have enough keys uh, to, okay, yeah, it's so much simpler than what I thought. Okay, yeah. So just take four keys out here. That's all it is. I'm not sure I even need four. 
but I'll get four in case that's as many as I need. Okay. 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 <laughs> there was no tricky juggling trick or anything. The tricky trick, whoops. Well, I can just do it again. The tricky trick was that I can get the green block back because I have a block outside. Alright, so four keys are out here. I take this in. I get greeny up here. That's not greeny. That is. And I only needed three keys because I can actually just take one out of here. Alright? Alright. Alright. This will do it. Now you can just sit there for the rest of your days. And I can do this exchange as many times as is necessary. Great. Great. Okay. That's all it was. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, it had to be something simple. It's just I'm given so many possibilities that it's easy to miss one of the simple ones. This is fun. I like it. Quite well crafted so far. Good stuff. Alright. Oops. Well... Okay, that's fine. I have a spare key. <laughs> Don't hold forward while uh, trying to drop. Or portal, or whatever. Just settle. Portal. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that's the first three. Good. Good stuff. Um, side effect and sack have both unlocked. I'll see you next time to see what's up with them.